morning everybody it's now sunday we're just leaving briarfields motel and camping uh, site that we've been there for three days with our friends had a wicked time yeah it's been really good hasn't it? yeah it's been really really good um really as you'll probably see on the past vlog that we've just done uh we did do a, rev a small review on the site so you can have a look at that i do recommend you have a look and a of a mile. get yourself yeah. there uh, so yeah, we're leaving Cheltenham today. We are on our way to Tewkesbury. Gonna do a one night stay there, have a look round. Somewhere we've always wanted to go. We were actually supposed to be there, weren't we, originally? More or less, yeah. Yeah, but, but the rally got cancelled. And I can't believe what a cracking day today is. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's sunny. Mark looked on the weather report last night. It was supposed to be thunder and lightning during the night, but I don't know whether it has and we haven't heard it. Seems to be a lot of uh, water around, like it's rained. Big wooden horse and an art. That's nice, isn't it? Not have many days like this of late, where it's a blue sky. We've had lots of rain over Christmas and New Year, haven't we? Lots of rain. It has been warm, hasn't it, the last few days? 15 degrees yesterday. It's been, it? yeah, you've been, it's been wet, but you've been able to go out without your coat on easily, and that's not normal. I think they've said it's been the warmest new year for quite some many years, hasn't it? Record, yeah. yeah. Freezing water, man. There's a flood warning thing there. Well, that's got an extra on that by right? there. It's a spot one down there. Right, the second one. It's already high up that water. It says it's a flood warning because it gets if it rains a lot. It's flooding. Nice spaces there. We've got the uh, is it the cathedral? Abbey. Abbey. Abbey yeah. Right behind us. I'll show you where we're parked. It's called oh, Gandalayan Car Park. See our van just up there. Yeah. Two seconds into Tweetsboro, you can't you can't beat it, can you? I was just saying, show them the river later over there. You can just about see it. It's quite high at the minute. You can just about see it where them trees have been topped. That's a river or the whatever it is, a little stream. But it has been up here because you can see the tide mark all the way down where this grass is here. So it has been up here recently and flooded over. And there are signs as you come down here about floods warning. So we have had quite a bit of rain apparently last night, haven't we? Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll be keeping our eye on the on the river. I think we don't want to wake up floating tomorrow, do we? No. It's definitely. Been Found out here. the motorhome's turned into a narrowboat. Yeah. Yeah, it's all over the road, isn't it? Yeah, it's all here. You can see where it's come it lipped up to here, isn't yeah. it? Just, it's, yeah, like Mark said, it's notorious for flooding round here. So, but we've, we have woke up to blue sky, so it's going to be a bit cloudy now, though. Yeah. But 
wind's cold as well you can tell it's gone back into january now that winter's um finally catching up with them, i'm afraid yeah. i've so got three layers on here and i'm still cold <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're going to go and find somewhere to get something to eat yeah we? we're going to go and get something to eat and a nice warm coffee and then we'll take you around this lovely place of twixbury i won't be able to, i'll never be able to say it twixbury <laughs> So we found somewhere, uh, the Royal Hop Pole in Church Street, Twixbury, Weatherspoons. You know it's one of our favourites. Mark's gone for the Empire State Burger and I'm on a small brunch. We eat this now and then we're going to have a look around. That's one of the best weather spoons we've been in for food of late. Clean, fast, very oh. nice. What's that? <laughs> hey, what's here for tea, Lisa? <laughs> We're not doing kebabs. Mark reckons he's found his tea for tonight. It's not happening. Pizzas tonight. From the van. From the van, van pizza. That's pretty, isn't it, over there? Yeah. We've still got all the Christmas lights on as well. I like it here, yeah, it's nice. But again, we, it's, one, it's Sunday, and two, it's just in between Christmas and New Year. No, what am I on about? God, days again, we're after New Year. Yeah. And there's not a lot of places open still. Look at behind this tree here, what's here? Another big church. That's just slap bang in the middle of two buildings. Yeah, well, that's probably been there first and Tewkesbury. I can't say it. Tewkesbury. Has just been built round a bit by the looks of it. Tewkesbury, that's Tewkesbury Methodist Church, right? Oh, yeah. Not sure how long it's been there, but it looks old. Yeah, there's a number of towns in England like this. Chester's one of them it reminds me of. York. Yeah, yeah we all that sort of With the black and white like Tudor buildings. Yeah. One stop. <laughs> That's not really of any interest, is it? <laughs> Who do you think you are? You like someone menacing walking through there. <laughs> so that's, we'll just find us for Ginnelway, it's Fletcher's Ginnel. Alley. Yeah, well that's what we call them in Lancashire, Ginnelway. I've just seen this at side here. Mr. Fletcher was a sheet metal smith and that was in 1946 to 2017. And that is houses up there. I can't believe how narrow that is. I like little farms like that. Here we found another one. Yarn's Alley. Yarnell's Alley. Yarnell's Alley, yeah. Another little one. It's all black and white inside, like the Tudor places. I 
tell you what, I won't walk down here and I don't know. Mm. Strange looking house at the side of the alley there. Very old. There is something at the end of here, let me have a read of it. William and Richard Yarnell, Yarnell yeah. made chairs. Richard supported the French Revolution. He was known locally as Jacobite. Yeah. Also the site of Johnson's Country Shop, 1975 to 1997. Mm. It's got some cats on there. So it's some years old this, isn't it? Yeah. Back onto the main street. Just come across these gates here, the George Watson Memorial Hall, 1909. And there's the hall behind it. It's like an entertainment hall, isn't it? With Queen tributes and... Oh, right, I thought it were a... I mean, the other one, they were wrestling, there's some wrestling. Put you down for it, Mark. Yeah. Get you some mud wrestling done. And then next to it, we've got this old museum here. Another old building. Oh, look at that! Can you see that? Yeah. So that's a better picture of the museum over there. You can just see how old it is. I think it's had some new roofing on it. The edges. Roofing. No, the, you know the edges of the roof. Roofing. They look like brand new. Yeah, it's just been the actual roof it? itself is, well, it's all different shapes. It's been re-timbered, hasn't it? Yeah. So what do you think of Tewksbury? Nice, isn't it? I really like it. Nice. I it's think it'd be nice when all the shops are open as well. We could yeah. spend some money. <laughs> yeah, Mark's right. loving it because they're all shut. No, there's a couple of kebab shops, isn't there? We've seen the Chinese up here, we'll show you in a minute. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. I could stay here for a few days, I think. Yeah, it's a big massive mixture of old and new, I think, here. Yeah. It's a, a bit for everybody. If you get further down into the centre near the Abbey, it's old buildings look older, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's grown over the years, they've built away and away, haven't they, so? Plenty of motor homes going through the town centre yeah. anyway. Everyone's on the move now, aren't they? Have a go and returning back home after the festivities, or...? Some people might even start be starting going away. Yeah. Oh, look what Mark's seen. Mm. Oh, it never stops. If there's a Chinese, Mark will sniff it out. Is it a restaurant? We'll get something from there tonight. No one. You've had your Chinese last night. You're on your health kick now. I've come across this and realised it's an actual dress. That is amazing. Imagine going to your local Tesco's in that. Raise a few eyebrows, won't it? Just a none few. Of, none of the buildings have any dates on them. That'd be your room down there, Mark. Get you in there, nice and secure away from everybody. <laughs> and there's another one, the Abbey Jewellers. Oh, well, you can see down the side of that, where it's all twisted and bent. A lot of them, they don't have years on them, do they? They only have the years they were made. Oh no, nothing's got years on it. No. It must be at least 10 year old, that building, eh? <laughs> I've never seen such a posh Halifax in my life. I don't know if you can see the big key hanging over the top of it there. You won't feel safe going in them top rooms, because they're I'd them, be a know. bit worried about going in them top rooms. They're hanging out. We're no support on them at I all. Get why they used to do that years ago. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a look, see why they built that. Probably because they got more floor space in the house, didn't they? Without taking up space 
on the floor. Well, there's two coming up and they're exactly the same, aren't they? But they've, yeah. they've stood the test of time, Mark, haven't they? Yeah. I've seen lesser age buildings not last this long. I know. It's a bit like the shambles at York, isn't it? Yeah. That's all got them buildings, not over -hang. Really mix of old and new, isn't it? Round here. It is definitely. I mean, there's a big storm one coming up as well with the big turrets outside. That's another one, Mark. Lloyd's Bank. Yeah. I don't know what that. Oh, it's the town council. How's you then? It says on the wall, town council. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this building is the town hall, and it was built here in 1788. I said it looked majestical, it's big isn't it? And then it was a fire station and a police station. It's been a bit of everything, hasn't it? So we've just made our way down to the river. We saw a sign saying river walk. Here's the map. Uh, that's where we are. And we've noticed that they do boat trips, obviously not at the moment, but they do boat trips and river cruisers there's Tewkesbury Abbey and Tewkesbury Museum so there's plenty to have a look at when you get here so we're just having a walk down the riverside this would be like a, a bucket dream wouldn't it to have a house on the river these are really really nice houses And you've just got the abbey overlooking you there in the distance so we're just coming across the bridge and we did mention earlier on about flooding in Tweaksbury I'll have a look at this we're actually stood on this bridge but this area or this thing here what we're on this weir it's called Seven Ham so obviously this little Avon or whatever it is is connected to the River Seven so it's a fair amount of water flowing it's around. touching the banks it's very close so we're going to have to be very careful tonight where we're parked because we're right next to the river. You see the river top of the river. Yeah. This is like an old boat. I don't know what this is. They must have used this for something in the past. That's the old fire station. Yeah, it's on a different part, right? Yeah, they kept it red though. <laughs> what are you looking at, Mark? Sweet, aren't they? Bet they're worth some money. Look at the roofs on them, Mark. Oh, look at this pub. It's a thing you have to look at. There's something you look at. 1696. Nearly as old as you. It's big, isn't it? A big bell up there to ring last door. Oh, yeah. trees I've ever seen. That is some years old. My god. It's not even got a plaque or anything Mark, it doesn't tell you about it does it? No, it's just fenced off isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we've had a dash back haven't we? Mad dash. It started raining and everything's chucking it down now so we're back at the van. We've got a nice view of the abbey through the window you can just about see it through the blind. So it's not a bad little park up is it really? Yeah. What are you on with? Making a brew. Need to warm up. Good morning everybody. Uh, we're still in Tewkesbury. Um, we're still parked up near Tewkesbury Abbey. Um, Lisa's gone shopping. It's bank holiday Monday. I don't know if any of the shops are going to be open. Uh, but she's gone for a look around. I'm going to meet her in a bit. We're going up to Witherspoons get her breakfast. Hope being well. She's keeping me eye on this river. I don't think we've had a lot of rain overnight. Uh, but there's quite a bit of water flowing through the river. And it is common flooding on this area. It floods across and into the car park. So we don't want to get stranded, as you can see. We're parked just up there. This little dike that's been dug full of water. I don't think it's rainwater, I think it's just what seeped through from the river. But as you can see, the river is very, very close to coming over onto the grass if it's not already doing so. So, yeah, it's very close to coming over on the grass. So, I'm going to 
to keep my eye on that. Um, last thing I want to do is get stranded. The van is probably three or four feet higher up. It is quite common to flood here. I'll put some pictures on now from what I found on the internet. Tewksbury's are very, very common on flooding, uh, especially in 2007. It was flooded really, really bad. Um, I think it was January 2007. So I'll, uh, I'll put the pictures up if you've not already seen them now, as you can see. Um, the Abbey's built up high. When they built, when they built the Abbey hundreds, hundreds of years ago, they obviously knew what they were doing. But it's very low lying elsewhere around here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to walk down, meet Lisa, and we keep an eye on that river. We don't want to get stuck. We're back at Tewkesbury Abbey. We've come to have a look round. Uh, the rain stopped now, so uh, we'll come back to look at this magnificent Abbey. It's beautiful, and um, we'll see what we can find. It must be hundreds of years old. That is absolutely it's amazing. Look how far it's stretching out. Look, look at it shining up to the Abbey, Lisa. Look. Look how far out it is. Look. It's over the path. It must be just this side alone, 54. Spread over the That's the Abbey, but the, the tree is just as, as impressive I mean, as the Abbey. I've never seen it. See how big it is. So that's Mark up against the tree. Wow. We're at the front of the Abbey now and talk about grand entrance. I've never seen one like it. It's absolutely huge. Mm. You it's don't, massive. You don't see this from a road, do you? This is like south facing this part. Yeah. It's massive. You've got to come here and have a look at this to actually appreciate the size of it and the detail on it as well. It's unbelievable. So that was Tewkesbury um, and that ends our trip really doesn't yeah, it? Yeah we're heading back home now. So we've been out for 10 or 11 days. No, ten, since Boxing Day haven't we? Yeah so. so a long time but we've had a fantastic time, met a lot of friends and uh, been places, seen lots of new things and it's time to go home I'm afraid. Until next time. Yeah mm -hmm. uh, we'll catch up with you on the next one.